Now I have a setup where one stepper motor is being driven by a controller and it's being commanded to spin at a certain known speed and the other stepper motor is just coupled to it and the output is applying voltage across a resistor that acts as a dummy load and we're monitoring that on the oscilloscope so I can see how much voltage is being produced and calculate the power output in watts based on the RPM. And you can watch as I increase the speed of the motor, the voltage also increases and the sine wave gets tighter uh, as the frequency of the motor increases. We, it kind of, the stepper motor, when it reaches maximum, it just freezes instantly. But I can get up to about six kilohertz. In my backyard, I have a stream, and that's pretty much wasted energy, uh, at least whenever the stream is not dried up. It's a very small stream. Um, but I would like to build some kind of water wheel that I can harvest that power. Now, a stepper motor is a pretty good way to do that. Um, and I actually want to show you what's going on on my computer because my battery is pretty low. But I'm spinning the stepper motor and then measuring the voltage. And then I used Excel to chart it and I converted it over to this graph. You can see that um, when the RPM reaches well, that scales off. Let me just jump down this one. At about 900 RPM, it produces five and a half watts of power, and that's um, per phase. That is per coil, and the stepper motor has two coils. So we can actually get about 10 watts out at 900 RPM, uh, and I don't expect to spin much faster with the water wheel. 900 would be plenty, would be very fast. Um, and at, at uh, peak power there, we're, we're also getting 24 volts at 900 RPM, which is a lot more than I expected to get out of a little motor. So that's what's going on on the computer. Let me, it's only spinning at 300 RPM right now. So I'm just using a signal generator. It's actually a pretty nice signal generator. I guess that's about 500 RPM. Um, the kilohertz is different than the RPM. I just have it calculated on. All right, so that right there is about 900 RPM. You can see about how fast that is. Um, and here's my sand resistor which is actually starting to get warm. It's a three watt sand resistor, and the fact that it's getting warm means we're pulling more than three watts. Actually, the, that's not the reason why. The math, it's, um, you take the voltage squared, divided by the current, sorry, divided by the resistance. There's a number of ways, but um, it's, it should be around five and a half, watts right now um, and that's with only one coil so I could theoretically have a second resistor anyway uh, that's sort of the testing setup and it was really fun to be able to generate those numbers I wasn't thinking we were gonna get anywhere near 10 watts um, so the next step is to convert that AC output from the stepper motor into something more useful to charge a battery. This is a adjustable switching regulator, step down regulator. There's an input side and an output. It works on DC voltage. So what I'll have to do is build a simple bridge rectifier circuit uh, pretty similar to what's inside of any old wall wart. It will take the AC 
waveform, rectify it into only DC. At that point, it'll still look like um, it'll still be wavy. It's just everything that's negative will be reflected. We flipped up positive like that, and then um, we do some stuff with the capacitor, and then. But the problem is the speed will change as the water gets slower or faster. What this regulator will do is no matter what the input voltage is, it will provide a constant output and do so extremely efficiently, like at least 95. Anyway, uh, that's what the plan is. I haven't designed a water wheel yet, but I've got a location picked out on the stream, so I'll keep you posted.